Angry music! Oh my god! I cannot stand you black men! All of you black men are cheating! All you black men are hating on me! All you black men are this! I'm gonna go date a girl! I'm gonna go date a white man! I'm gonna go date a stuffed animal! Dr. Jackson gives his opinion on recalcitrant women. Very interesting with the celebrity subject he's picked out. Take a look and I'll let you know what I think about it later on. I tell guys a big part of my content is kicking them out. Getting away from them. That's a big part of what I say now. I'll, I'll, a big part of my content is letting people go. For a reason. Okay? Getting them out of there before it gets too late. I'm trying to tell guys right now. A lot of y'all are going to mess around and, 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 and screw around with the wrong. Get them out now. While the blood is still running warm in your veins. Get them out now. Problem by now before you be going by now. She also says this, dating music, I definitely realize that it's a huge weakness of mine and it's definitely played into a lot of relationship issues. Okay, I feel like the boundaries that I'm asking for are petty. Stop the show. Here is another sneak diss attack on Will Smith. Not only that, you're blaming your kids now. I mean, if we thought that Jada Pinkett could got not go lower. She has went lower. Lower than a midget on his knees in a basement low. Oh my God. Like C-Low. I can't get no low low. I got it for the low low. That's what we're talking about, okay? The guy had a tough day. Can, can we talk? Let me talk, no! The guy's trying to do something trying to finish the project, he are trying to twerk on him and stuff, trying to get his attention. Why don't you come over here and get some of this booty? Y'all do that all the time. You know the man trying to work, trying to do something, here you are trying to disrupt him because you want to have some attention. Go sit your ass down somewhere, let the guy work. Well, why can't we talk right now? Because I got a project that I got to submit in the goddamn morning. You know, you tell them like, please leave me alone. Leave me alone. But no, they don't care nothing about that. Don't come over here to me talking about you want somebody to take care of you and him and, and, and you scorn and black women need to be protected and all that stuff. Once you deal with Pookie and Ray Ray, keep dealing with him. Keep dealing with him. No, 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 no. Keep dealing with him. Keep dealing with the doors getting kicked in and the gunshots and the funerals and he need bail money and the free my N words. No, no, no. Keep dealing with him. All right? Because you can't come back over here. Go over there, okay? Or go find somebody else. Make their life miserable. And as long as you stay away from me, I'm okay with it. But I don't wanna hear your mouth of you dragging black men, you dragging the black men that don't wanna deal with you no more because you know you didn't got scorned, because he didn't cheated on you and everything. Now you wanna drag all the black men in the black community because of you because of your decision. Now, everybody black in the black male community got to suffer because you like the guy who had the tattoo on his neck. You knew he had 14 felonies. You knew that he couldn't read and write, okay? You knew that he was he, he was from East Coast Crip, okay? You knew he rapped about selling drugs and, 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 and hot boxing in, in your car when you had to on the way to work. You knew that when you got with him, you knew he had two strikes left. Now he got life in prison. Now all of a sudden you dressing up in Halloween, just like him in a, in a prison jumpsuit in the, in, the, in the orange. Now you got him. Don't call nobody. Don't be talking about black men no more. Because you need to stay with him. Stay over there with Pookie. Stay over there with Rayback. Like I talk about all the time. I'm from Sacramento. Stay over in Meadowview. You stay over in Oak Park. You stay over in Del Paso Heights or Strawberry Manors. Okay. I'm from there, but I don't stay there no more. You stay over there. All right. I'm going over to be over in Granite Bay and Rockland. I don't, don't come over here with that. Stay over there. You stay over there. Take that over there to uh, uh, over there by Hiram Johnson and uh, all this other stuff. Stay over there with Pookie and Ray Ray. Stay over there. Over on 29th Street. Over there off of 40, Florida and 47th. Over there in the south. Please. Over in East Oakland. Over there on Acorn in the west side. Oh, West Oakland. Over there. 2021 yesterday. Stevie J, he said, Dating music is over. 
locked up. I filed for divorce. Can I get a, oh my God, sound effect. Oh my God. Now, let me, let me just say this, okay? You wanna know how I feel about him divorcing her? Dima, celebration music. Put me in the back dancing. Give him a round of applause. Because look yes. at her past life. She's already had two or three different baby daddies. All right? She's her third marriage. She can't get it right. She's not going to change. So once you find out that she's not going to change, it don't mean that he don't love you. It means that you need to get the hell on. You got to go. You're not going to do it here. Celebration music, Dima! Keep me dancing in the background. This is what needs to happen with a lot of black men. Get them out of there right now. And we used to say this in the church, while the blood is still running warm in your veins. I'm telling you black men right now, the sooner the better. Get them out of your life right now. If they don't want to do right, they don't need to be there. Send them on their way. They don't want to compete, gone. They don't want to do what they're supposed to do, gone. You don't even have to tell them. They don't deserve to know. Cause you've been telling them the whole entire time what's going on. And this is what black men gotta stop doing. Stop talking so much and start acting. You don't wanna do what you're supposed to do. I've already talked to you about this. Don't act shocked now. So you thought that I was gonna keep telling you this stuff and that it was gonna keep going over and over and over again with no change, but your behavior did not change. So since your behavior did not change, you getting out you're gonna be by yourself. It don't matter if you get half of the cars or whatever, you can keep it, but you're gonna be gone. A lot of times when women misbehave and you let it go on for a long time, part of that is your fault. You should have checked it at the door. When you get into it two and three years, it's gotten so bad because you let it slide and you can't take it no more. Part of that is your fault. You get her right up front. No, you're not gonna do this or you're gone. Do it again, bye, out. Nip it into the bud. You don't let it go two or three years. Get them out now, first and foremost, okay? Save yourself some time, save yourself some stress. Get them out as soon as possible so you don't have to go into no 10 years and 20 years because by that time it's too late. The only way you can change behaviors is to get rid of them. And once they understand that they can be gone, that's when you get better behavior. I definitely agree with Dr. Jackson. He's right on point with this. I hope you guys have been having as much fun watching these as I've had making them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh my God, I cannot stand you black men. All of you black men are cheating. All you black men are hating on me. All you black men are this. I'm gonna go date a girl. I'm gonna go date a white man. I'm gonna go date a stuffed animal.